Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful day for some kayak fishing. Today, we're gonna try the Headbanger Spitfire on some Northern Pike. So I've got the bigger six inch version of that lure here today. I tried the smaller four and a half inch on smallmouth last year and caught a ton of fish. Lure had great action, makes a ton of commotion. I couldn't help think that it would be a great lure for pike. We're just gonna fish along these shoreline rocks. There'll usually be some pike roaming around up here. It's nice and calm along this shoreline. Perfect for throwing some top water. We'll see if we can get a few ferocious beasts of pike to come up and smash that Spitfire out here today. Got a couple old farts that showed up about 10 minutes after me in a boat. How much you want to bet they pull up about 50 feet in front of me and start working the same way I'm working down the shoreline. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good sized fish. Whoo, he smashed that Spitfire. That'll wake you up in a hurry. Right. Look at that. All right, you guys, first fish of the day on that headbanger Spitfire. It really didn't take long. I've only been out here about 15 minutes. I've already had one chase that lure up. And then this really nice pike came up and absolutely smashed it. That's a great way to start the morning. I'll give him a little nudge. All right, we'll keep tossing that Spitfire around and see if we can hook into another. You guys just trying to scare all the fish away? I tell you, these guys would get about 100 feet in front of me and just troll in front of me, but that's all right, we're still catching fish. Pike number two, about five minutes after that last one. Yeah, they're active today. They are looking for that top water action. Get in the net. Nice. All right, fish number two on that Spitfire. Man, they are crushing that thing out here this morning. Yeah, it's another quality pike. All right, let's let him go. I'm anxious to get that lure back in the water. Well, both those pike I've caught so far seemed like they were sitting pretty much right off these rocks. They come out eh, a little bit farther than where I'm sitting here. And it's a pretty quick drop down to about four or five feet deep. There's a few scattered weed beds along here. 
But I think the pike really like to push bait up along these rocks. Use it as a feeding grounds. That Spitfire does have some really nice action to it. I'll give you guys a closer look at that lure. So like I said, I'm throwing the six inch headbanger Spitfire. It's got that concave lip at the front of it. What it does is that thing wiggles like that and it gets the rest of the lure kind of swimming like a little bait fish. Seems to be driving those pike crazy out here so far today. <laughs> and I'm fishing that lure on a seven foot one medium heavy power St. Croix Victory Rod. I've got a Daiwa Tatula 150 reel, 40 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 braid. And then I do have a six inch 30 pound steel leader in front of that lure. So I'll leave links for everything in the video description down below. If you guys want to pick up one of these headbanger spitfires definitely use my link i think their website's about the only place to find them but they actually made me an affiliate after i did the video fishing one for smallmouth last year i must have sold a few for them so if you use that link not only do i get commission from the sales but it's also an interesting way for me to track just how many lures i might sell after posting a video having a successful day fishing one. It'd be kind of neat to find out. There we go. Ooh, yeah, that one smashed it good. <laughs> oh, I love catching pike on top water. Oh, come here. Just gonna scoop that net right underneath you. Too tangled up in my net here. There we go. Let him sit in the net for just a second. Third one of the day on that Spitfire. Man, that one crushed it. That is so much fun getting him on top. Beauty of a pike. That was a nice one. Ooh, that'll get your adrenaline going. Well, he's not quite as big as I thought. Man, he came up and absolutely smashed that lure though. Still not a bad pike. What average size out here today? Nothing wrong with that. All right, there's pike number four. Geez, I've only been out here for about an hour now, so they are absolutely crushing that top water. I'm having a blast out here this morning. down these rocks I haven't had any action since I turned around so 
I wonder if it was just a morning topwater bite. There's a couple of people shore fishing behind me. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but <laughs> they're catching some. Throwing something other than topwater. <laughs> But we'll keep working our way down these rocks. See if we can get one more at least. go. Well, that one bit that lure after the pause. I had to pick a bug off my wrist. <laughs> oh, that's a nice pike. Come here, you. Get in my net. All right, fish number five on that headbanger spitfire. I'm starting to wonder if the top water bite was over for the day. It's been about a half hour since that last one. But this one came up and smashed it after a nice little pause there. What a beautiful fish. Nice distinct markings on that one. All right, we'll set him free. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this trip. What an awesome morning it's been out here though. We got on some really good topwater action. Five quality pike, all of them, on that headbanger spitfire. So I'd say that lure passes the pike test. I'll definitely be keeping that one in my arsenal for those predator fish. It's always fun catching them on topwater. So I had a blast out here today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.